Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ27 here, and today, oh today, today I'm bringing you back a brand new story, so yeah, let's get right into it. So this story takes place at the very beginning of this summer. I have a friend that lives, I don't know how far away, we're, in, we're, we're within walking distance, it's probably a 15 to 20 minute walk, but it's not just like, I call him up, I'm like, hey, I'll be there in a minute, and walk to his house, but it's not like, hey, whenever I get to your house, have a bunch of food and water ready because I'm going to be tired from my long journey there. It's just like a 15-minute walk there. So whenever we do hang out, we usually just walk to each other's houses and or we meet up at a spot like in between. It's, he's probably like a mile away or a mile and whatever, probably like 1.2 miles away probably or something. I don't know. But anyways, this was towards the beginning of summer and apparently... He had, like, a bunch of friends over. There were, like, five of them. And he invited me over, but I was actually doing something. Like, I think I had to go out to dinner with, like, I was meeting with my family. It was somebody's, like, birthday. And we were, like, meeting them for dinner or something. And then we didn't get home till like, 9 o'clock. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to be home at, like, 9 o'clock. So I really can't do anything. He was like, oh, okay. And... Like, probably, like, five people went over his house. And everybody that went over his house, I knew. We were all pretty good friends. And keep in mind, this was Friday night. So, like, we didn't have school the next day or anything. Anyways, 9 o'clock rolls around. And I we came home. And basically, what I did was I just changed clothes. And then I sat down and started... Uh, I was either editing or playing a video game. I don't remember. But I was doing one of the two. And then I did that for about an hour. And it was basically, like, 10 o'clock. But it was really dark out. And for him to get to my house, it, you, he either has to come through the backyard and like the way my house goes is there's my backyard and then behind my backyard is a bunch of woods and he lives behind the woods. So if he were to come to my house, he'd either have to come through the woods and then through my backyard or he'd have to go along the side of the, like the side road and then come through my backyard that way. But there's no way he could come from the front of my house because I have a gravel driveway and if like five people walked down my driveway, it would make a crap ton of noise and I would hear him immediately. But apparently they had this prank idea that to, that they would come to my house and outside I have like a bunch of like bikes and like skateboards and like soccer balls and stuff stored like I have them like stored outside and basically what their idea was was to take like all my bikes and skateboards and stuff out of the place where I store them and then take them all the way down into my yard and hide them it, it would have been a pretty good prank not gonna lie but what they were gonna do is they were gonna take everything out and then they were gonna text me like look outside and ride a bike and or something like that so then I would like look outside and my bike would be gone and like I'd be spooked or whatever. Well anyways, as they were doing it, my blinds were closed and I have a window that looks into my backyard. I heard like the motion sensor light that we have went off first of all. So I, I didn't really think anything of that, but then I heard like footsteps on the driveway. So then at that point I'm like, okay, somebody might be out there. So I slowly peeked my blinds up just enough so I can look outside. Sure enough, I see one of my friends riding my bike through my driveway into my backyard, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I started watching them a little bit more, and I kind of figured out what they were doing. I'm like, okay, they're taking my stuff and putting it into the backyard. And keep in mind, they had no idea that I knew. So what I did was I dressed up in like all black. I had a black hoodie on, black sweatpants on. Like everything I had on was black. I grabbed one of my portable speakers, my phone, and then downstairs in my garage, my dad has, like, a bunch of tools and stuff, and he has, like, this, like, it's not a machete, but it's, like, an axe with, like, a really big blade, so it kind of looks like a machete, and I grab that. <laughs> so I go up my front door and sneak around the side of my yard all the way into the back of my yard, like, completely back where my woods meets my backyard. So there was really no way for them to see me at all, really. Because it was pitch black and I was wearing everything all black. Anyways, whenever I was going down, I kind of set up my speaker, like, close to, kind of like, it was on like a hillside, kind of like where they were. And I set it up on the hillside, like far enough where they wouldn't know where it's coming from, but they would still hear it. I waited till they are all down there. And like, the one kid like rode a bike down and they were just like, kind of like, dude, this is going to be so funny. We're going to text them and stuff. And I started playing, like, the Freddy Krueger music, you know, like, the... Here, I'll put, a, I'll put, like, a sample clip in right here. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, like, that kind of music, like, the really scary Halloween music on, I started playing that. And as soon as I started playing that, I just always see them look up, like, towards the speaker. I just look at them, and they're all just, like, looking at each other, like, what the heck is that? What is that? Why is that playing? Who's And then, they, then they're like, oh, who's playing that? Like, looking at each other, and, like, everybody's like, no, I'm not playing that, I'm not playing that. And they all started, like, started freaking out. And then, in my backyard, I have a bunch of tennis balls because my mom always throws my dog the tennis balls and never picks them up. So, I grab a tennis ball, and I went, I was opposite of where the speaker was. So, I grabbed the tennis ball, and I threw it near them so that they would, like, hear it bouncing and, like, see it. And you all just see them turn around to, a like, a tennis ball. And then right behind the tennis ball is me. All in black, so they couldn't really tell it was me. But I was holding a giant axe up in the air. And I just see them all that are just like, yo, who is that? And then they start looking at each other like, oh my god, everybody's here. And then they see me start walking towards them. And then I start running towards them. And, just, and then I started like going like, ah! And I started like screaming. And they're just like, ah! They all started like screaming at the top of their lungs and started running for dear life, just booking it into the woods. And I waited for all of them to just start running. And then I was just like, guys, 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 no, it's just me. It's just me. It was just a prank. <laughs> and I just started rolling on the ground laughing so hard. And then they all stopped and they just turned around. They're like, wait, what? Who is that? And then they go over. They're like, oh my gosh, you scared the crap out of us. They literally gave off like the girliest screams ever. It was so funny. Anyways, they were all just like screaming and then like, they were all running, and then they all come over, and they all started laughing, too. And they're all just like, dude, my heart's beating so fast. They were all so scared. And, I mean, if I were them, I would probably have done the same thing. <laughs> but, yeah, they saw me, and then they, they're like, dude, you scared the crap out of us. I'm like, oh, yeah, so uh, I see uh, you guys are pranking me. And then they're like, yeah, but, I, I mean, that doesn't compare to your prank. Holy crap. <laughs> I literally scared the crap out of them, like, they were so petrified, and then, like, they had to walk back home, and they were all just, like, really creeped out the entire time. And then, anyways, they helped me take all my stuff back up to where it was, and then they just went back to my friend's house. And then, like, the next day, my friend texted me. He's like, dude, whenever we were walking home, it was so scary. We thought somebody was gonna, like, tag us every five seconds, and I'm just like, that's what you get for pranking me. Moral of the story is, if you ever try to prank me, I'm probably gonna counter-prank you, because I'm just that good. No, I'm just kidding, but, uh... In all reality, I hope you guys had a good time watching the video. I had a good time making it. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and come on what I should do next. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode, and goodbye.